My name is Jamira Burley. I am the head of Youth Engagement and Skills at the Global Business Coalition for Education, and I'm originally from Philadelphia, but I live in New York. My superpower is realizing that young people are leaders today and tomorrow, and how to cultivate them in spaces and places that normally weren't meant for their leadership. I think civil society um, is really critical if they create opportunities for young people in leadership capacities. I think if individuals want to authentically engage young people, they first need to understand just how critical this time is. We are dealing with the largest youth population the world has ever seen. And if people want to, meet, um, to really find out what young people care about and to create a world that um, elevates their concerns and to cultivate them, they one, need to meet them where they are, either or. I think some of the key characteristics that I really try to foster in young people is to remind them that their story matters, that it doesn't always have to be rooted in trauma, that can be rooted in something very inspirational that is just as valuable to the world and should be shared. One of the things I try to encourage with young people is to recognize that they're never too young to change the world, right? There's no age requirement. One of the main lessons that I've learned from young people is that we all have a space and place in this world, right? We all could do something in collaboration with each other that can create the world that we all deserve. All of us together doing something in collaboration um, can hopefully, I think, create a better world. Um, as cheesy as that sound, but I think it's a collective effort that we can't undermine from the most important person to the most, I guess, richest person in the world. We all have a responsibility to each other. Since being an activist for the last 15 years, what has really rooted me in my work is to allow people to speak for themselves. No one needs a savior. All they need is an opportunity and a platform to elevate their own voices, and your job is to move those barriers to allow them to do that. What has helped me in my work is to center people put people at the center of change. So instead of thinking about cost-effective models or how do we save money here and there, we really need to think about how do we save lives? How do we make sure we put bodies as the most important commodity in our society and cherish those people? Because they may not be worth a billion dollars, but their contribution to society is just as important. Um, no one lives in a silo, and so we have to force ourselves to see beyond one issue and get to the, the root causes. What inspired me to do this is I grew up in West Philadelphia, born and raised, <laughs> in the same neighborhood as Will Smith, and I was surrounded in a community where most people were hopeless. Um, they didn't think that they could rise above their circumstances. They didn't think that they could be more than their predecessors. But it wasn't until 2005 when my brother Andre was shot and killed in Philadelphia did I realize that while all of these things were normal, it didn't make it right. And it also didn't mean that as a 15-year-old I couldn't do something to stop it. The jo my job is to continue to cultivate young people like people cultivated me and to also try to figure out how do we get to the root causes because gun violence is a symptom of so many other systematic problems in our society and we have to continue to elevate them and to, I guess, make people uncomfortable enough to find real solutions for them.